Hey, this is Ganga. I want to give you a tour in my yurt, which is like uh, such a beautiful place. And I've been writing most of my music here and I've been singing for, I don't know, just countless hours. And uh, I'm about to do something really exciting. I'm going to sell my yurt and then I'll be traveling the world. You know, just take my backpack and my guitar, sell most of my stuff and just make music and sing wherever I can. So it's super exciting, but I thought it would be really nice to give like a tribute to this beautiful home that has been taking care of me for four years almost now, summer and winter. So here we go. This is my mirror. And here is the place where I rest and sleep at night. It falls into a bed. And there's my altar. And of course, my instruments and my sewing machine. And then here is the desk where I write my newsletters and, you know, just do all my work, my seva, designing stuff. And this is my little kitchen area. It's uh, super simple, just how I like it. I don't have running water but I do have some bottles that I just keep filling up and I have gas so I can cook a hot meal if I want and this is my door which is also my only window and I have a great view and as you can see it's always faced south originally and this one as well so there's always a lot of light coming in and this is where I keep the clothes that I have and my shoes, my boots and this is the heart of the yurt. It's my stove. It's a Windy Smithy stove. It's especially built in England for small places like yurts and wow, look at that. For yurts and vans and tiny houses. So it's super efficient and it heats up pretty warm quickly. And it also keeps it warm throughout the night. So it's just a perfect stove which you really need especially if you live in a country like Holland hi and this is the skylight which I have all transparent and this is really nice at night I can watch the stars and the moonlight comes through the windows and in the daytime it just gives this beautiful light in the backside of my yurt where my altar is and you might want to see outside so I have a fire pit I'm gonna make a fire tonight and there are some veggies in my garden and I'm out of week too because I've been traveling and it just keeps on growing when you're not home and I have a little picnic table where I like to do it's nice so yeah this is it I'll give you a little peek outside let her go and I hope to find someone really nice to take good care of her and um, I just want to thank her so it's always nice you kind of have to bend and what a great place to live in huh? So thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope this video may have inspired some of you to live a simple life back to nature or at least connected to nature and with not so much stuff. You know, I've been downsizing forever living in this small space, which is just 21 square meters. And every time I'm downsizing again, it just feels so great. I feel so much space entering my life and so much freedom. So I look forward to just having my backpack and my guitar. But um, yeah, just do what you feel good with and um, just live a happy life. I hope to see you soon. Bye.